What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So Remax stocks soared this week on their earnings report. Let me go through some of these numbers for you. Uh, the company revealed it brought in 71.5 million in revenue. Okay, the street was expecting 70.64 million. Okay, so it beat that. It also reported uh, earnings per share was 61 cents versus the 59 cents that the street was expecting. So this was a huge earnings beat and the reason why the stock soared earlier this week. The revenue represented a 30.4% increase, 30.4% increase year over year. Also, the net income for this quarter was 9.2 million, which was $1 million more than last year's third quarter. So those are some pretty big numbers. They also revealed that they saw a 3.5% increase year over year in agent count. Okay, in total, Remax now has 128,258 agents across the world, um, 84,067 of which are in the U.S. and Canada. Now, I think this incredible surge in the company is due to the incredible work that the new CEO, Adam Contos, has been doing over the last two years since he's been the CEO. I actually interviewed Adam earlier this week. I'm gonna put a link below if you did not see that full interview. Adam's an incredible guy, totally down to earth, and he's doing some incredible things for the company. Now, what I think is really amazing looking at all these statistics and numbers and all this is the fact that Remax actually makes money as opposed to all of the tech you know, disruptors in the industry, the, the Redfins and the Zillows of the world who are constantly losing so much money year over year over year. And me and Adam touched on this a little bit about the philosophy behind losing money and investing to try to take market share versus investing in trying to make the company as good as it can be. Um, there's a lot of different schools of thought on that. So anyway, just wanted to give you this update and my thoughts. Um, please comment below your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what company you think is the number one real estate company in the world and why. I'm also gonna link the 28 day real estate challenge below. You can start this challenge Sunday. I'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.